All right, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today, what I got in store is gonna be open up and checking out this interesting product from WizKids, I believe it is, and it's a Magic the Gathering Creature Forge Overwhelming Swarm. I have five of them right here. I've never opened these up before. They're like blind bags, so you can get multiple different things inside, but you only get one thing. And what you get inside of these is little uh, figures of tokens. And they have an example on the back. It looks like each of the back of them have the same little images, just checking, yeah, each of them have the same little image, it shows like a dragon, an angel, a dinosaur, and it shows the token card in the background, like a, what is this, a drake token, this is an angel token, and this is a dinosaur token, card not included, it'd be cool if it did include the token card with it, I think that'd be pretty sweet, well actually, uh, they probably can't because uh, I'm not sure if this is a Magic Gathering product, or maybe it is, so I'm not sure if they could include the card, but I think that would be a really cool addition if they could. Again, you can't really tell what you get inside of them. Each of them have the same dimensions. You can feel some sort of plastic barrier on the inside. So regardless of whatever size the token is, you, you don't know what you get until you open it. Uh, it looks like, let's just read some of the packaging on the back. Card not included, WizKids. Never heard of this company before. Woods of the Coast on there. You got the Sad Onion guy. The recycling down there. Uh, what is this? It says, product... For adult collectors, ages 14 and above. Interesting. I don't know why. Maybe it's small parts for children. Uh, yep, not for suitable under children under three small pieces. That's why. So it could possibly break apart. I think they come in one piece. I'm not really sure. I've never opened up anything like this. It looks like you got pirates on the front of it. Overwhelming swarm. I'm not sure whether I did pirates. Maybe this came around like the Ixalan era or something like that. I'm just guessing. Uh, ages 14 plus, choking hazard. Each pack contains one token figure, again by WizKids, and uh, is there a date somewhere on here? Let's see if I can find a date. Conforms to safety requirements. Uh, da, da, da. I'm having a hard time finding a date on here. Do, do, do. 2018, okay, so these came out last year. Anyways, let's just open up one of them and see what's inside. Well, I'm going to be opening up all of them. Let's just open them up to see what kind of tokens we get. Right off the bat, looks like I got this tiny little thing. This is very tiny. What is this? It looks like a, it's on the smallest little pad ever. This is ridiculously small. This is a plant. A plant token. A zero one one plant token. Looks like the Magic the Gathering symbol right there. What's it say on the bottom? Five out of 28, so maybe there's 28 tokens. 2018 Wizards. And it's the smallest little plant token ever. It's made out of uh, sort of uh, bendy plastic. Uh, nothing very stiff. The base is stiff, about the size of a nickel, I would say. And it looks like a little fungus plant growing off of a dead branch. This thing is very tiny, absolutely small. But it'd be fun if you had like a plant deck or something like this. And instead of tokens, you put out a couple of these, but you can't really tell when they're tapped or not. It'd be cool if they came on little rectangular um, bases, so you could tell if they're tapped or not. I think that would be a really cool addition uh, to this as well. Interesting. It looks like they're painted. I believe they're painted. Looks pretty nice as well. Extremely small. I was expecting something bigger to be honest. But then again, these are grab bags. I'm not sure if they vary in size much. I'm, I'm very curious. So let's just go ahead and open up another one. So the first one I got is this small little zero one plant token. It'd be cool if I got like a zombie token since I do love zombies and I do have some zombie decks and stuff like that. If I get all plant tokens, that would be a bit of a bummer. Oh wow, this one looks pretty sweet. I'm not sure what this one is. I don't want to break it. Looks like some sort of venom spider. Uh, it says a spider with a reach, and it's a one-two. The thing about this spider is it's pretty big, and it's almost covering up the name on the bottom of this little thing right here. But this one is bigger, I would say. Quite quite bigger. I like the green coloring on it. Looks like it's held together by some sort of plastic translucent peg in the middle. Uh, a little bit of... You could shave off some of this plastic right here at the back. And uh, I like the colors on it. Can't really see its eyes, but it's got little tiny teeth. It looks like its mouth is open. And four, it does have eight legs. The small little front ones are small in the front. And uh, very interesting green color. And again, this is the spider with a reach, and it's a one-two creature. Much bigger. And I'm um, happy I didn't just get the plant tokens. It would be interesting if I just opened these up and only got plant ones. Pretty sweet. I like the legs. Uh, I wish that the legs were kind of spread out in the back. I don't know why they're always facing one direction. But, uh... Pretty interesting. You can bend them just a little bit. Cool. 
Interesting. I like this one a little bit better, to be honest. All right, let's just open up the next one. And they do come in these sort of plastic boxes, so you don't really know what you're going to get. I wonder if some of the ones have bigger bases or anything like that. Seems like this one is loose inside of there. It seems something small. Not really sure. Let's open it up. Probably another plant. Oh, interesting. Got a little soldier, it looks like. Looks like the soldier popped out of there. Awesome. Oh, and I just realized the base varies for whatever card uh, color. So obviously this is a green creature, a green creature. And then this one is a white creature as well. This is a soldier, it says. A 1-1 one, one soldier. The painting on this one is way, uh, way better than the other ones. There's actually detailing. He's got silver arm with some gold uh, borders. His sword is sticking upwards. Very bendy plastic, so not worried about the sword like snapping off. Don't want to bring that into battle, though. He's got like some sort of uh, darker blue uh, cape hanging on him. And he's, he's stuck on his base pretty well. Cool. And you can see that it's painted quite, quite intricate. I'm not sure how they paint them or whatever. But cool. This is a small little soldier. I like how his sword is sticking upward. Awesome. I like that. Obviously, the plant one is so small. He'll just chop it in half right there. I got two left. Let's just open them up and see what else we get. We could have got like a big old dragon or something. What is this? Some sort of ox creature or something like that? Wild. Whoa, I almost took his legs off. Again, another green creature. This is a beast. A 3-3 three, three beast. It looks like some sort of ram slash boar hybrid creature. It definitely smells like some sort of plastic. This one is kind of flimsy. Since it is like uh, in motion, I would say, it does look like it's running, so it's only supported by the two inner legs. It is a little bit bendy, but uh, it didn't break off, so it's probably tougher than I think. I like the hair on this one. Uh, the horns are interesting facing forward. and also has small horns by its mouth. Um, give me a little pet. Interesting. It's just a 3-3 three, three beast creature token. Oh, wild. Again, got some wizards on the bottom, 2018 wizards. The beast. Cool. It'd be cool if it did come with the cards, and it'd be cool if they were on little rectangular um, bases so you can tell if they're tapped or not. I guess you could put it on top of your card or something like that. I think that's what they're marketing for. You could use these for like Dungeons and Dragons or like a board game. You want to play a board game and you say, you know what? I'm getting rid of the regular sorry board game piece and I'm going to put this guy on instead or whatever you're playing. Anyways, we got one more to open up. Let's hope it's that zombie. Hopefully it's a really cool zombie. And again, looks like I got another spider oh, that's all right though now we got two of them let's compare how similar they are what is different they look it looks like the teeth are painted a little bit differently i'm not sure if those uh details are added in by hand it's very possible the paint on the back of it does look a little bit different as well this one has a bigger bit black stripe it looks like um the factory i'm not sure how it gets painted maybe someone takes a green paintbrush and just slides it along the back different strokes different brushes um Again, this one has a little bit more green on it. They are pretty much the exact same molding as well. Interesting. This one looks to be uh, raised up a little bit more on this stand. It looks like the clear uh, holder in his belly is a little bit taller. This one is pretty squished down, almost covering up the spider uh, text right there. And this one is probably the correct one. It says spider reach one, two creature. This one you can hardly read. So there is some bit of variation, I would say. But overall, pretty sweet. Anyways, I just wanted to open up this product with you. Very interesting. I've seen it for a while. I didn't really uh, get any of it just because uh, I, I just haven't yet. But now I did. And I just want to open up and share it with you all. Give you my experience. I think that they're pretty sweet little tokens. I do like this soldier one the best. I do like how his sword is in the air. And this one is pretty detailed. Uh, the little plant one is absolutely tiny. <laughs> it is so tiny. So you can get uh, a good range of tokens, I believe. On the bottom, it says 8 out of 28, so I believe there's like uh, 28 types. I'm not sure what that black smudge was on there. There's probably 28 different token types. I didn't get a zombie one here. Um, I'm curious what uh, the ratio is of like, is there like rare or mythic or whatever? It's just completely random. I'm not sure. Just opened up five today just to share with you all. I just want to say a lot of fun opening up these little things. Always fun to... Uh, Open up Magic the Gathering products, especially cards that are related to the game. I'm sure I could find a token somewhere that looks pretty similar to this uh, soldier right here. And I'm not sure what spider this is. Is it like a giant spider? And this is some sort of just like plant token. And this is just a beast as well. Anyways, a lot of fun opening this up. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Just want to say thanks for stopping by. And I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful day.